my first school fees at least I needed to give to three people, 10,000. 10, wow. The second one went like that. And it was the third one I was able to pay. On the morning of my exam, that was when I changed my whole school fees receipt. Before we start the exam, there are many students that came to me for help financially. Those that couldn't make their school fees uh, through the friends I have, through the people around me, I've been trying to make sure that they succeed in what brought them to this institute. So we contribute. I seek uh, help from other people. They contribute. I pay their school fees. I mean, some I paid their high school fees. Some I just gave them a few amounts so for them to complete it to pay their school fees. Uh, some just lost interest because of the school fees. But due to the kind of uh, student union government we have, we could provide some little help. Like some, we do go to the various hall to protect them. Then some, we do tell their invigilator that they should pardon them. So I was carrying the house around, around the town, begging people, asking people to support my talents so that I will know if I can raise some funds from there and I complete with the one I have and pay my school fees. So I, then I came across with the SUG chief judge and then he decided to help me, making every arrangement to see that uh, I pay my school fees. And my work is to make sure that uh, the student is being helped in one way or the other, both financially, academically. As a leader, no matter the dispensation of leadership you are, you must receive the challenges of the student. It's not only the SUG president, the secretary general, or the VP. No. Even a town union president, even a department, even class rep, the person that is very close to him or her, we equally tell him, please see, I don't know how to do this. So we didn't publicize it because if you publicize it, those will not get those that we needed to get to. Okay, so we need to do what we call and pick it. So by the grace of God, we are going to pay at least some of the some part of the school fees for them by the INT alumni community to support them. And by the grace of God, school fees cannot make them to drop and do. Though those who are with low who has low self-esteem will drop out because of that. Someone chatted me that she didn't write the exam and won't first paper because of that. A friend of mine from my department by name and Niago Jessica Okuchuku. Uh, she happened to be one of her, one of us in my department, marketing department, HND final. I so much appreciate her because she's somebody that have a golden heart to help uh, follow her and the relatives, the electoral that you visited throughout this exam, they are really good. They really understand the condition and situation of the student right now. But as they stand now, the IMT aluminas, once we talk about aluminas, we talk about the people that have passed, many comrades that have passed through IMT, they are organizing a scholarship scheme to help some of the indigenous students of IMT. I got the call from the alumni comrade. They have been very much supportive that they want to give nine indigenous students of IMT from Enugu State scholarship. Uh, and by the grace of God, I met speaker um, sorry, the CJ, the uh, Chief Judge of SUG, he told me about this young guy here and I needed to include his name because the scholarship is for the poorest of the poorest. Before the exam, so many people, you could believe with me that many people chatted you up that they don't have school fees to pay and as a result of that, they don't know their hope to write the exam. I want to also use this opportunity to appreciate those that have been contributing towards this uh, this issue most especially the SUG president but also appreciate the effort of SUG speaker parliament institute of management and technology he has given a helping hand to this issue also he is my brother my blood in Arota anytime I explain this to him he also contributes I really thank the SUG chief judge for it is by his grace that a, a young man has been working seriously to help the students. Management ought to understand that there are many people that love to be educated, love to go to management should understand because that there are many people that are supposed to uh, pass through this school but the money 
is what is drawing them back. They should come to our aid and also understand that if they catch any person during the exam that doesn't have that doesn't have school uh, receipt or that haven't paid their school fee, they should pardon those people. It's not their fault. It's because the money is not there to pay. We are those with high self esteem will go inside the home, tell the vigilance we don't have school fees. They will not kill you. By the grace of God, you are going to pay before your second semester. And the director, some of the management, uh, they, they softened the they soft pedal so that if you can't pay right to exam before second semester, you pay for the what you are going on empty is to pay our school fees, to pay our fees. What they are owing us yes. is to make sure they impact the knowledge by which we came here to acquire. I want to plead for any state government to create a forum where these issues should be taken care of, please. It is very necessary because we all need to be educated. I have passion for building and construction. Uh, I use phone screen and some electronic parts with some of the phone parts. So I, I compacted it under here. So I run wire through this, this, this thing. Yeah. Then I compacted it under the circuit. What is the name of this house? The name is Douglas. Is this a meat attached or detached? Very good. No one. It seems as if you are well oriented and into people. <laughs> I got admission into IMT to study civil engineering. Um, but ever since then, I've been hustling to raise my school fees as, as I'm the one sponsoring my academic. Um, the whole payment is not completed, but they, they gave me a, a support. They supported me. So and uh, I feel happy about it. At least now I have, I, I, I have taken the, 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 the step. So I'm very happy about it. I have passion for building and construction and I want Nigerians to help me. I need help, I need to be educated. This is just a talent work, this is just an inspiration. And so I decided to construct this just to practicalize the inspirations that comes to me. And as you can see, both the wiring and the everything you see here, I'm the one that constructed it. So and it also has light, this is the key for the light. And this other thing that is displaying here, uh, I'm also the one that constructed it. I used full screen and some electronic parts, which I compacted together under here. And as you can see, it's, it's functional. So I'm just want, I just want people to help me, to sponsor my academic. I don't have anybody to help me. I don't have any help. I'm the one catering for, my, for myself. In life, so I need people to to, to, to help me make sure that I I I, I develop this this talent. Friday, to be cool from the issues of local government area, and I'm moving to be precise. He did this wonderful, uh, what I call it, uh, modern designed multifaceted building here. Yeah? So as a result of that, he attracted himself to join those who benefit from the scholarship scheme.